in this video, I'll be sharing with you details of the electric buses recently acquired by the Lagos State Government in partnership with Orlando PLC. On April 28, 2022, Orlando Clean Energy Limited OCEL and Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority Lamata signed a memorandum of understanding to enable the deployment of electric buses and other supporting infrastructure towards attaining a sustainable road transport system in Lagos. Orlando Clean Energy Limited is the renewable energy subsidiary of Orlando Energy Resources OER. Their agenda is to meet the continent energy demand by enhancing renewable sources and investing in climate-friendly and backable energy projects in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. The project is aimed at the commitment of both Lagos State Government and Orlando to cut down greenhouse gases by replacing it with cleaner sources of energy. This initiative will accelerate the government transportation agenda and positively impact health of Lagosians and the environment in general. This initiative is still at the pilot stage. A lot of data gathering will still be done in comparison with the existing BRT system. This means few electric buses will be added to the BRT fleet. The buses will operate normally, use BRT lane, the carry card, and so on. Information from Lagos Bus Services Limited LBSL, shows that an average BRT uses about 200 km per day at maximum. The new electric buses has the ability to travel 280 km at full charge. So don't be worried about the buses stopping in transit. Each bus has three CCTV cameras in it. It has a capacity of 40 passenger seats and has room for standing also to accommodate more passengers. There is a ramp for wheelchair so that it is easily accessible for people living with disabilities. On charging of the buses, the Memorandum of Understanding signed with Orlando showed they will provide charging stations and other supporting infrastructure. There will be charging stations at the Lagos Bus Services Limited facility to charge these four sets where there are plans to strategically place universal chargers at public places. On maintenance, the buses being used for this pilot scheme will be moving from the normal facility where BRTs are maintained. Only basic maintenance will be needed as the vehicle does not have regular engines like the normal BRT bus. Once the pilot scheme shows all the positive signs as expected, aside from bringing more buses into the fleet of the regular BRTs, there are plans to establish an assembly plant in Lagos for electric buses in the future. <music>